Hello, good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine, thanks for asking. How are you tonight? How was your I weekend? Am very tired. I'm Hi, very tired. Tired, but well. All right, nice. That's nice. Hello, Nelson. Welcome. All right, yay. I see Hilda over there. Juan, hello. Okay, people, we are going to start a class now. Who remembers what were we studying last class? A ver, ¿quién se acuerda que estábamos estudiando en la clase pasada? Where were you born? Correct, yes. We were studying where were you born? Yes, where were you born? It means donde naciste, right? Also, we, we said, when were you born? When were you born? So we can use the simple past of be to ask any question referring to the to an action in the past refer to that meaning right b or um be in the present or be in the past all right so yes that's what, that's what we were studying and we say that there are different forms for the verb to be in past ¿Cuáles son esas formas? Which ones are those forms? Was and where, teacher. Was and where, correct. Was and where. It means that for some pronouns, we use where. I, you, we, they take the where for, okay? He, she, it take the form was also I, okay? I takes was, I takes was, I doesn't take where, okay? Yo, fuera lo, lo común, ¿verdad? Decir where, pero no lleva el where, lleva el was, okay? Y entonces hablábamos de que existen mmm, palabras para preguntar, ¿verdad? Con WH, ¿cómo teníamos dónde? ¿Cuándo? ¿Por qué? ¿Cómo? ¿Ok? En inglés, they are why, when, where, how. ¿Ok? Then, let's go directly to the Me deja pasar al otro documento. ¿Qué pasa? Ahí está. It says it doesn't respond. Okay, right. Okay, this 
Oh, sorry, guys. I didn't know this computer is getting crazy. Oh my God, and it's making me crazy. Allow me just one second. At least when this closed. Teacher. Tell me. I have a question. Tell me. Tomorrow is the last day. Yes, it is. Tomorrow of, is the last day. Of this, of this level? Yes. Mm -hmm. oh. ah, yes, thank of you. level three, yes. And we need to send the, the PDF document yeah. tomorrow. You should do it. I mean, you should do it today. Hoy tendrían que haberlo hecho, ¿verdad? Oh my God. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> okay, teacher. All right. Por alguna razón esto está un poco lento. Lo que pasa es que hay una clase antes de ustedes. Entonces queda abierto. Creo que convertiré la grabación después para no estar con eso. Bueno, ya, ya voy a cerrar. No deja. Vale, vamos a ver. Hoy tenemos que entrar correctos. I'm so sorry, guys. I really apologize for this. Okay, here we go. So this is the last class. And we were saying that we have, I was, you were, he was, she was, it was, we were, you were, they were. That, that's the form of the past, the simple past of the to be verb, all right? We have our conjugation and we know that in present we have am, um, we have is, and we have are, okay? Y entonces, fijémonos bien que para I, he, she, and it, the form is was. And for you, we, and they is where. Hmm. Yes, it is. Okay. So we want to see the main difference between the past tense and the present tense, right? Is whether the action you are describing, describing occurred now or in the past. El presente, pues ya sabemos, ¿verdad? Que es lo lógico. Son las cosas que éramos o estábamos en, en hoy, ¿verdad? O en el tiempo presente. Estoy o er, o oh, perdón, estoy o soy. Ahora, en el pasado es era o estaba. Esa es la traducción, ¿verdad? Sin embargo, y vuelvo y repito, en la clase pasada les decía que a veces hay expresiones ya establecidas. Por ejemplo, cuando decimos nuestra edad en tiempo presente o preguntamos por nuestra edad en tiempo presente, nosotros decimos, how old are you? Utilizamos el verbo to be. ¿Verdad? No decimos how many years do you have. No, no decimos así. ¿Verdad? No, no, no es común escuchar que alguien diga eso, ¿verdad? Porque no es esa la manera. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que tenemos que aprender? Aprender las expresiones. Por lo tanto, decíamos que cuando preguntábamos where um or when were you born where were you born estábamos diciendo cuándo naciste y dónde naciste okay no estamos para traducir palabra por palabra porque no nos va a hacer sentido en nuestro idioma español okay la traducción a nuestro idioma español es dónde naciste Okay, no donde eras nacido, ¿verdad? O donde estabas nacido. No, no se puede, no existe en nuestro idioma. Entonces aprendamos la expresión completa. Pero bien, volviendo al punto de uh, el presente y el pasado, 
Nosotros utilizamos, por ejemplo, el tiempo presente simple para decir las características de una persona, ¿verdad? Como para describir, para describir cuál es su profesión, por ejemplo, decimos, he is, she is, ok, she's a doctor, he is a lawyer, es una profesión, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, lo mismo sucedería si fuera en el pasado, si contamos la historia, ¿verdad? Si contamos la historia de lo que esa persona era o estaba en ese momento, entonces sería que vamos a utilizar el was and were. Veamos aquí estos ejemplos. I am a student right now, right? Or these days, or this year. But I was a student in 1995, 1997, or the 2000, right? So I was a student. You are my teacher, you were my teacher, right? You are my teacher now. But after this course, you could tell me you were my teacher in module three, right? He is your friend, he was your friend. He was your friend, all right? Vamos a ver, it is fine, it was fine, it was fine. So it's an action that it is already finished in the past. Okay, some are actions and some are characteristics that they are not anymore. Okay, they are not anymore. So then as when we use the uh, past simple tense or the past simple form of the verb to be. For example, we are ready to start. We were ready to start 10 minutes ago, right? Um, they are always happy, but imagine last year, they were always happy, okay? So we can use also the time expressions for everybody to know the exact point of time, all right? We are referring to. So now let's go to our manuals. In our manuals, we have some exercises we want to do in order to in order to practice this thing all right bien en nuestro manual tenemos también un cuadrito permítanme que ya voy a llegar al manual Tenemos un cuadrito en donde vemos la pronunciación de estas formas, pero ya en las maneras negativas. Ok, en las maneras negativas, normalmente esa T que está al final, en el inglés americano es como un stop, es como una, eh, se detiene esa T, pero en el inglés británico sí se pronuncia. Ok, entonces ustedes en la plataforma tienen una grabación en donde se escucha eh, la pronunciación con la letra T, ok, con la letra T, aren't, weren't, don't, can't, y tenemos las que son de dos sílabas, como, ¿verdad que no lo están viendo? One second. No, no, teacher. I'm sorry. No, teacher. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Here we go. No problem. All right. Okay. Okay. Tenemos esta grabación de los negativos, ¿verdad? Que eran aren't, weren't. Don't, can't. Y tenemos los de dos sílabas como isn't, doesn't, wasn't, didn't. ¿Ok? Eso es en la pronunciación británica, ¿verdad? O en la pronunciación prácticamente neutral, digamos, ¿verdad? Del inglés. No es un error pronunciarlo, como les vuelvo a repetir, no es un error pronunciar la letra T fuerte. 
pero en el inglés americano también tenemos una pronunciación de una T que se detiene. Aren't, weren't, don't, can't, isn't, doesn't, wasn't, didn't. ¿Ok? No suena la T como en el británico, pero sí suena como una, un espacio que se detiene. Por ejemplo, veamos estas oraciones que tenemos acá. They didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. ¿Ok? Así sería en el americano. Vamos a ver. Lo normal sería que ahorita podamos decirlo tal como lo vemos en el libro y no es problema. ¿Ok? Podemos decir, they didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. ¿Ok? No es error. Y es bueno que lo aprendamos de esa manera cuando lo decimos. Pero debemos estar sabedores que cuando lo escuchamos de las personas que hablan inglés, probablemente no lo oigamos así. ¿verdad? Lo vamos a oír con ese, esa separación, ¿verdad? con esa co contracción jalada, con eh, eh, así. Didn't, weren't, ¿ok? No con la T. Puede ser que lo escuchen así o puede ser que lo escuchen con la T. O sea, tenemos que estar sabedores y por eso es que lo vemos. La pronunciation is really important. Y pronunciación, fonética, phonics, es una materia completamente aparte y muy extensa. ¿Ok? Entonces, mi ánimo es que se animen a seguir investigando cómo se pronuncia, ¿verdad? Las cosas, para que vayamos imitando. Vamos a leer entonces estas, estas oraciones. They didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. La siguiente sería, I don't like coffee and she doesn't like tea. These aren't their swimsuits. They can't swim. He wasn't there yesterday. I'm sorry, he wasn't here yesterday and he isn't here today. Vamos a ver, ¿alguien quiere leer la primera? They didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. Thank you. Next one. I don't like coffee and she doesn't like tea. Very good. Next one. These are in their swimsuits. They can swim. Very good. Aquí... Se oyó como dijo quién. Sería they can't. Ok, quién. Aunque no pronuncia la T, ¿verdad? Sería can't. Can't. Tiene they que... can't swim. Ok, puede sonar la T, no hay ningún problema. Uh -huh. Vamos a la siguiente. He wasn't here yesterday. And he isn't here today. Very good. Very good. All right. Now, guys, a ver, vamos a ir a la otra parte. Eso es pronunciation. Pronunciation. It's really important. Okay. Vamos a practicar esta conversacioncita que tenemos por acá. Where did you grow up? ¿Por qué? Porque miren, normalmente no solo vamos a, a utilizar un solo eh, verbo, ¿verdad? No vamos a utilizar solo el to be. Usamos todos los verbos, usamos todas las acciones de acuerdo a los contextos en que estamos, ¿verdad? Entonces veamos cómo fluye aquí la conversación. Y cómo hacemos el uso de las preguntas con did y las preguntas con el to be, was or where. It depends on the subject, right? If you, if you use was or where. So let's read this conversation, right? Allow me to share. And it says, so child, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when did you come? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <clears throat> and when did you come to Los Angeles in 1990? I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. 
I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hair stylist? Because I needed the money and I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, uh, <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> all right, let's read it again and let's try to, if you have any question, you can ask me, all right? I will read it slower. So Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles in 1990? I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money and I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, uh, all right. Now we want to listen to some of you if there is no questions. Do you have any questions? No questions? Easy, right? Very easy. Okay, we want to listen to Cristina and let's look at okay, Cristina and Blanca, please. Me, Melissa. Okay, Cristina, you hola, start. Hola. Okay. So, Chuck, where did you go? <clears throat> you grow up? Okay. I grew up in Texas. I was born here too. And when did you come to Los, Los, Los Angeles? Uh -huh. In 1990, 1990, 1990, I went to college here. Oh, what was your ma major? Drama. I was an actor for five years. After, after go, go That's interesting. So we did you become in hairless, hairless, come on, hairless, thinless? Hairstylist. Hair Hairstylist. Hairstylist. Uh -huh. Hairstylist. Because I needed the money and I love it. Look. Well, um... <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh -huh. what, what do you think? Does she look good? <laughs> I mean, how's her hairstyle? What do you think? Is he a good hairstylist? Yes. No, no. <laughs> not really. <laughs> not really. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, maybe, maybe, right? In his own context, in his own world. <laughs> okay, then, guys, look. Veamos en esta conversación, we have different questions. And I want you to notice where, where did you, where, where, donde, right? A place. Y veamos. Preguntamos con el verbo en forma base. Where did you grow up? Y veamos cómo contestamos. Si es afirmativo, I grew up in Texas. Okay? I grew up in Texas. Past tense, right? Past tense. Then we say, I was born there too. Mm, ahí nací también, ¿verdad? I was born there too. Veamos la siguiente. When did you come to Los Angeles? Ah, está preguntando por qué. Time, right? Time. It could be a season, right? It could say, I mean, this person, Chuck, could say, uh, when, you, when did you come to Los Angeles? On last Christmas could be, right? 
on the in the summer, right? We could say any any mm, expression referring to time, okay? Referring time. Why? Because it's asking when. When is referring time? I went to college here. What? Aha. Uh -huh. Miren, ya el WH. Miren, lo vamos a utilizar exactamente igual el verbo to be como cuando lo usábamos en el tiempo presente. Toma el mismo lugar. Miren. Después de la pregunta de WH, iría el verbo to be en tiempo pasado. Funciona exactamente igual la regla de eh, gramática, ¿verdad? ¿Dónde va el lugar? ¿En qué lugar va ese verbo? What was. Si fuera en presente, what is your major? What was your major in the past? ¿Ok? Was, ¿por qué? Porque es it. Your major is it. ¿Ok? Vamos a ver. Um, I was an actor for five years. I was an actor. It was not permanent, right? It, was, it wasn't an activity that became permanent. It, it was just for some time, right? I was an actor. I was an actor, but for a period of time, right? That's interest, interesting. Ve veamos el why con el did. Veamos why did you become, become. Mm -hmm. ¿Cuál es el pasado del verbo become? A ver, what's the past tense? Become it. Became, became, became. Uh -huh. became. So he could say, I became a hairstylist because I needed the money, okay? I became a hairstylist because I needed the money. And I love it, okay? That, uh, those are the reasons why he became, I mean, yeah, he became a hairstylist. Then we say, um, en, volvemos al tiempo presente, obviamente, ¿verdad? Y así fluye la conversación entre pasado de acciones, pasado del verbo to be, y luego volvemos al presente, y luego nos volvemos a ir al pasado. Y así platicamos. That's a conversation, right? That is a conversation. All right. Vamos a ver entonces. En este momento nos vamos a ir al breakout room, ¿ok? Y vamos a hacer una pequeña conversación similar a esta, ¿ok? Vamos a hacer una conversación similar a esta. Es decir, ustedes van a utilizar, pueden usar estas mismas preguntas, ¿verdad? Que realmente se, se adaptan muy bien. Eh, por ejemplo, si usted nació en San Miguel, se va a decir, I was born in San Miguel, ¿verdad? Eh, ¿Y en dónde creció? Where did you grow up? I grew up in San Salvador. I grew up in a different state from El Salvador, right? A different city. And for example, then you are going to use when you use time, all right? If you think about the career of someone, then you can say this question also. And so on. Is there any question so far about what we are going to do? Is there any question? No, no question. All right, I will open the rooms. Ahorita se las paso en el WhatsApp.
Hello. Hello, teacher. How's it going? Um, estoy intentando armar una conversación. All right. El tiempo pasado y el presente también. Okay, okay. Hi, teacher. Hello, Edwin. <laughs> How are you, teacher? Fine. How's it going here? <laughs> I finished the practice. Oh, all right. So let's go to the main room then. <laughs> okay. Let's go, let's go back. Yes, please. All right, yeah. people, please get ready. I'm going to go Ay, ready because... Yo no estoy... I'm going to call the attendants, so please everybody turn your camera on. And when you hear your name, you yeah. say press. <laughs> yeah. Alexandra yeah. Patricia Arevalo Reyes. Present teacher. Alexis Giovanni Ramos Rosales. Present teacher. Ana Yamilet Hernandez Martinez. Blanca Guadalupe. 
Benavides Martínez. Carlos Antonio Castro Torres. Uh, some, some of you are still joining back. All right. I will start over. Ana Yamilet Hernández Martínez. Blanca Guadalupe Benavides Martínez. Carlos Antonio Castro Torres. Present teacher. Okay. Cristina Claribel Chavarría de Bonilla. Present teacher. Edwin Alexander Hércules Torres. Present teacher. Efraín Emilio Acevedo. Okay. Georgina Concepción Menéndez de Echeverría. Present teacher, I am still working. All right. Hilda Beatriz Pineda Leiva. Isaura Evelia Vasquez de Ponce. Present teacher. Present teacher. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. Josia Alexiomar Mejia Benavides. Present teacher, present. Juan Marcelo Flores. Manuel Aristides Cardona Navarro. Bueno, eh, present teacher. Buenas noches. Okay, no problem. Good evening. María Denise, Mariana Denise Monterrosa Portillo. Present teacher. Melissa Cecilia Beltrán Torres. Present teacher. Merin Daniela Carranza Valencia. Present teacher. I'm back. Nels okay, good. Nelson Adán Cerón Medina. Present teacher. Sorry, teacher. I'm, I'm working, teacher. Okay. Norma Elizabeth Callejas Lopez. Present. Okay. Norma Elizabeth Lizano de Quinteros. Present, teacher. Oscar Alexander Santana Reyes. Present, teacher. Okay. Ronald Roberto Torres Villalobos. Present, teacher. Verónica Stephanie Castro Rivera. Present teacher. Xiomara Natalie Rivera Ríos. Yamilet Geraldina Martínez de García. Present teacher. Zuleima Emperatriz Álvarez de Ramírez. Ok, ¿cómo vamos? How's it going? ¿Cómo les fue en el, en el <coughs> breakout room? Yo, yo no pude comunicarme con mis compañeros porque tenía mucho ruido. Ok, ok, ajá. A ver, ¿quién sí lo logró hacer? Por el chat. ¿Quién sí lo logró hacer? Okay, Hilda, please. En Norma. En Norma, yeah. too. Okay. Uh, can you share it? Compartannos, a ver. Yes, teacher, but Norma, I'm not sure is here in this moment. It's a, uh, oh, all right. All right. No problem. I think, um, quizás. Melissa. Uh huh. With Melissa, too, but. Melissa, you okay. are here. Yo creo que mañana volveremos a hacer esta actividad y ahorita les voy a pasar un link, ok, para que practiquemos un poquito el where y el was, ok. Ahorita se los voy a pasar acá. Okay. I'm sorry? Eh, lo voy a compartir por qué? Por WhatsApp o por Zoom? Aquí en el Zoom, ahí va. Okay. 
¿Ya accesaron? Y es teacher. Ok. Vale, me voy a poner yo en silencio y quiero escucharlos a ustedes comentando cómo lo van contestando, ¿ok? Como entre ustedes, ¿ok? Ahorita yo me pongo en silencio y los quiero escuchar a ustedes comentando. Ok, teacher. Ok, teacher. Was or were simple past exercises. The first, um, I think I was. was. In... was. Yes, I was. Yes. I agree. Second Number one. two, we were, right? We were. Yes. 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 Sorry. We, were. we were. And the we third, Christina was at home yeah. yesterday. Yeah, right. He was he happy. Was. Or he was happy. He was happy, yes. <laughs> They were they were in front of the supermarket. I was in the museum. She was in South Africa last month. Jessica and Kimberly were where Kimberly were where were late for school. 10 out of okay. 10, and we have check, the 100%. Check the answer, chick. 10 out of 10. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes, teacher. 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 Yes, This moment I'm going to share with you. Ya lo envié al WhatsApp. All right. I sent to the group teacher. Thank you. There you go. Mm -hmm. So this is easy, right? We know when to use the was and when to use the where for. Okay, now let's go to the manual and let's go to page 34. On page 34, we, we have a match activity. Okay, we have to match the question with the answer, okay? We have to match the question with the answer. So please everybody go to the page 34 in your manuals and let's do this activity. Let's do it together, all right? Let's do it together. Here, okay? Right. We have them here, okay? We have to match these questions with the answers. With question, teacher. These questions, they are eight questions. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we have to match them with the correct answer. For what example, number? all of them. The first one is when and where were you born? Y aquí ya tenemos el ejemplo, right? This is the example. So we see letter C, I was born in 1983 in Hiroshima, Japan, all right? Now, number two, where did you grow up? and so on, okay? Y vamos a hacer lo mismo. Yo me pongo en silencio and you comment and you ask if you don't understand then you can ask your partners and everybody can give opinions, all right? Teacher, Let's start. Mm -hmm. 
can we on the tape too? Oh yes, if you want, can you if you want to go to the board, please do. If it okay. is possible for you, do it. Okay. All right. Start. <laughs> Where did you grow? And letter F, right? Yeah, I F grew up in Tokyo. In Tokyo. <laughs> when did you start school? It's when did you start school? Is letter G? A. I was it. I think uh, the number three is letter G. I think it's a letter A. Letter because A. They, uh, and number two, where? Where do you go? Number up? two is F, the letter F. F? Number three? Ah, when did you ah sorry, number sorry, number two? three? Uh -huh. Number three is letter when when I was it letter A. I think <laughs> and the other uh, yeah. G. What about the, the letter G? Letter, letter G. G. Letter G. G. Yes. Yes, letter yes I think G. Yes, letter uh, G. Can be. Uh huh. Can be. Yes, I think it's letter G. But... Okay. Okay, let me put it. Okay, number four. How old were, How you, old were you then? <clears throat> letter I was A. Sick. Letter A, right? Uh -huh, I got uh -huh. Yes, yes. yes. Number five, guys. Day of school. Mm -hmm. How, letter H. Um, Letter H, right? Yeah, I wonder. Uh huh. Yes. It was a little scar. Who was your first friend in school? Who was your first friend in school? Letter B. Letter B. Was really. Her name was Yumiko. Oh ah yes, letter D. Letter D. Uh huh. And number six. Seven. No, 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 no. Number seven. Number seven. Uh -huh. What was yes. she like? What she was, was she? Really she letter, B. letter B. Yes. She Thank was really B. shy. And number eight. Why do you take this letter class? Letter I, I don't know. No. Is letter Why? Letter E. Letter e. My English, English, my English wasn't very well, good. Very good. Yeah. Uh huh. Yes. 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 I agree with you. Great class. Very good job. Very good job. Now we are going to choose a classmate and we are going to ask the question. And this classmate is going to answer with his own information or her own information. All right, we are going to start by uh, Josia. Josia, you ask the first question to a classmate. Choose a classmate. When and where were you born? Who? For whom is the Her question? Geraldina Martinez. Okay, I born. I was born. Okay, I was born in in San Salvador on January eighth, nineteen eighty nine. Very good. Now you, Geraldina, please ask another classmate, and I mean, choose another classmate. The question number two. Where did you grow up? Let's see. Um, 
Alexis Giovanni. O si no está, Cristina Claribel. Cristina, you there? No there. No, I don't think so either. You can choose another one. Blanca Guadalupe. Okay, I grew up, up in Arcatao. I grew up. I grew up in Arcatao. Grew up. Now you Blanca choose another classmate and ask question number three. Three. When do you start school? Um Mary, Daniela. Well, I entered kindergarten in um, thousand and five. Thousand and five, I think. All right. Really young. Two thousand and five. Yeah, I was four. Yeah. <laughs> Nice. Daniela, now you please ask number four to another classmate. Okay. Uh, how old were you then, uh, Norma? I think you were going to ask number five better because oh, you answer okay. both. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. How was your first day of school, uh, Norma? I don't know if you can answer. Norma Lizano. Miss Lizano, are you there? I don't uh, think so either. Oh, yes, there you are. Seria, I did my start school. No, yes, it was it in Benjamin Blue. I'm sorry. Uh huh. Uh huh. No, uh, number I five. Number five. Number five. How about you? Number five. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was uh, Benjamin Blue. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Is así se llama la escuela? Sí. Yes. Well, okay. But we are asking, how was your first day of school? Uh, if it was fun or you were scary, you were scared, or I don't know, you were excited. Was it good? Was it bad? Scary. I was scary. Oh, all right. All uh -huh. right. Uh huh. Okay. Now, please, Miss Lisano. Ask number six to another classmate. Vayamos a ver. Alexandra Patricia. Who, who was your first, I know, perdón. Sí, number yes. six. Yes, number six. Ah. Who was your first friend in this year? Patricia dijo, ¿verdad? Yes. Si no para Carlos Antonio. Castro. Mr. Carlos Antonio. No. No, por ahí está Hilda. Uh -huh. Me. Uh, sorry. Sorry, excuse me. Ask me again, please. <laughs> Who Sorry. was your first friend in school? School. 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 Her name, her name was Marta Beatriz Navas Osorio. Oh my God, you remember both <laughs> last names. <laughs> wow. That's yes. interesting. <laughs> eh? Come on. Yes, Nico was my best friend. Oh, good. Oh, good. Uh -huh. <laughs> Great. Uh, nice. More or less, more or less. Fun. I don't remember very well 
30 years ago. I don't remember very Okay, but do you, have, do, do you have contact with her? Sorry, teacher, I can't understand you. Do you have contact with her? No. No, I, I saw, I saw because uh, she, she traveled to uh, Italia, Italy, oh, and okay. I forgot, I'm no teacher, I oh. didn't, I didn't have contact with her. Oh, all right, all right, no uh, problem. Okay, Hilda, please choose another classmate and ask the question number eight. Okay. Edwin, why do you take this class? Because I needed to learn new things. Very nice, good. nice. And what do you think, guys? <laughs> how uh, was this class for you? I mean, wh how was this module? As you expected or were you expecting for something else? A ver, ¿cómo ha sido este módulo? ¿Cabal lo que esperaban? ¿Cómo vamos? A mí me gustó, ha estado muy bonito. All right. I like it. All because right. I, I, I consider the, 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 the it's, it's important because some, some explanation I can I can understand very well, but when you talk in in Spanish, I got it, and I I I I think it's very important. You complete the concept, like all right? Yes, you yes. The concept, uh, part in English and part in Spanish, all right? Yes. Yes. Okay, okay, nice, nice. Okay, people, I think I like the platform too. I like the platform too because there are explanation and adulation. translations. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, okay, there you go. Okay, people, so now time is over. Remember that tomorrow is the last class and we'll be um, just practicing conversation and the whole a content and I, I will try to um a, to make you speak a little more all right tomorrow because the thing lo que nos ha detenido un poquito es tal vez el tiempo del del breakout room verdad nos ha detenido un poquito la práctica pero creo que hemos ido superando, ¿verdad? Entonces, mañana vamos a hacer esa práctica que quedó pendiente ahora con esa conversación, eh, con su propia información y vamos a tener siempre práctica, ¿verdad? Vamos a tratar de completar lo de la unidad 4, ¿verdad? Pero mañana finalizamos, ¿ok? Tomorrow is the end of the course. So, mañana nos tomamos la foto de graduación, ¿verdad? Así que vengan bien bonitos y todos encendamos la cámara el día de mañana. ¿Verdad? Los que por casualidad ¿verdad? o porque hayan tenido alguna pequeña falla en las tareas, es decir, de que no sacaron el 100, pueden ir todavía y corregirlo para que vayan sacando mejor nota y para que vayan adquiriendo ese conocimiento que les ha quedado el vacío. Y si no han visto todos los videos, vean los videos, ¿ok? Bien, so... See you tomorrow, guys. Have a very good night. Teacher. Tell me. Is it me or you sound a little bit sick? Yeah, I am. I am. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't feel so good tonight. Wow. Yeah, I have a sore throat. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, teacher. Yeah, but well, uh, <laughs> thank you. I was feeling under the weather, but I think I'm okay. <laughs> mm. All right. Yeah, I'm taking medicine. Uh, okay. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much for your concern. And okay, see teacher. you tomorrow, guys. Have a very good Bye, night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Tomorrow. Good night. 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 Good